Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jess. We're gonna talk about end game cake making. So this is kind of the third video in my trio, so to speak, of cakes and whatnot. So the deal with the cakes is that once you reach end game, you don't need to rely on the grazing powers. We're talking the cows. Okay, we're talking the chickens. Okay, we don't. You don't need this stuff. Not anymore. Along with the the, the wheat. The wheat pals, right, the one, the pretties as well, you don't need these guys. You don't need the wheat farms because you have this dude. The guy who comes to your base every now and then, right? You can even give him fruit, by the way. Um, take him in. You have to get yourself a team of fine furs and noble. The other two are for backup. This is a, a part of my support video, so to speak. And you find one of these merchants, capture them, slot them in your base. You're gonna have to put them in a little in the little shack over there, but I tend to not want to do that sometimes, so I now use them. And the thing here is, we're gonna use the base, the benchmark of 1 million coins, and we're gonna use 1 mil coins as our little uh, base value, so to speak. And it costs, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the math, okay? To make one, to make one cake with the sales team of Gobfins, where they go, uh, no, find first and noble. It costs eight eggs, seven milks, um, eight berries, and fifteen oops, wheat. Altogether, that told us to about forty-five hundred gold. I think forty-five ten gold, or point five thousand gold, right? And then, um, that's without the sales team. But with the sales team, sorry, yeah, with. With the sales teams, it costs about 2,500 gold, so 2.5 thousand gold. So, when it comes to making money from the Legendary Spheres, to make 1 mil, let me see, I think it was 160. Off the top of my head. Actually, it's like 159 to make exactly 1 mil. But I like to give it one more, because now it's even. 160. So without the sales team, it's gonna cost you... I believe the number was two, two, two. Uh, let me just slot the sales team in real quick. Oh, without the sales team. I want to showcase it real quick. So without the sales team, it's gonna cost you one million, two hundred twenty-two legends for one mil gold. Okay. When it comes to all this stuff, it's I, don't, I mean you can tally this number up if you want right there. Plus, hello, that plus that number four hundred plus this number and this all totals to I think four, five thousand one hundred and twenty something like that. Um, so. With the sales team, you get a 40% increase on the sales gain, so you, and you want to 4-star them all for the sake of the passive, the partner skill. But you don't have to 4-star them if you just want the sales team perks. Um, regardless, um, the materials for the cake are very cheap. People with a lot of money can buy this. Okay, to make 1,000 cakes, we're going to do it right here. Well, a little more than 1,000 cakes right here. I'm not going to freaking do that that's ridiculous but it's gonna cost you about 90k plus 90k plus 30k so 90 90 that's 210k plus well it's gonna be two doses of this so let's just go about 100k so 210 plus 100k that's gonna net you about 300k for a thousand one thousand um cakes sorry 3 million for 1,000 cakes, my bad. My math was a little off there. I forgot to move that zero over. But you got the idea why you why people use this whole method, right? 1 million coins will get you... Well, 160 Legendary Spheres will give you 1 mil coins. Well, technically it's 159, but you get the idea. And this will net you about like 300 or so cakes. A little more than that. So, cakes is a big part of the game. You see I have some, uh, some dudes here. I think they're making me a... Some more... Not, Anubis? That looks like it's an Anubis right there. My Lupmon plus the Lilian knock. Gonna get me some nice Anubis. And then up here, I'm getting, trying to get some better Blaze Howls so that I can mix it with the Yomantide, the water ones. And then over there, some more Blaze Howls in case these 
ones don't work as well. This is for my spamming. And I have a couple more breeds up here, unless they're all gone. These guys are making... I don't remember what they're making, actually. And these guys are making... Mm, yeoman ties, perhaps? Um, so yeah, you see how, how important cakes are. Like, if we look here... Because normally I, I make the cakes up here, and then I just easily transfer it right here. We have 3,000 cakes, so that cost me about, I don't know, uh, 12 million coins or so. And they're still at this, they're still... Oh, they finished this. Yeah, look how fast this is. Very fast. I bought more wheat, and then I just put it in the thing for water, right? I put it in the watering cage. Watering... What were these things called? The mills, yeah, the mills for them to water. And... You know, this is this is technically my cake making base because you see these guys. It's so laggy. I'm sorry, but you see these guys, the bees. They are grazing. And I don't know why they're coming up here for the food. Like, I should have plenty of food down here. Around these, like on this one, I should have food here. Oh, that's a bag of food, I guess. I should have plenty of food down here. I don't know why. Oh my lord, this is so bad lag. But um, yeah, right here there should be a lot of food. Like a lot of food because I would make food here. So this is where I have actually all of my good food. Oh, I need that back, thank you. Um, got nine thousand honey. You can't buy this, by the way. Can't buy it. No, let me do that. Let me put them back up here like this. To be honest, I should just. I'm gonna make another one. This is dedicated to only food. Only ingredients. And then, yep, there it is. Yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, making, a, I, I, I would say, a better cake base. Um, all it really takes is just a bunch of honey. Honey is the deciding factor on how many cakes you have, because you can't buy honey. Unless it, they pop it out with a new, uh, new video and whatnot. Um, I would literally dedicate an entire, like, good, maybe 10, 12, 16 pallets to honey, and then buy everything else. Like, just go on a massive buying spree. But, you know, the thing that I hate the most about buying is that, you see how laggy it is for me? Sometimes the frame rate cal calms down and whatnot, but, like, the clicks sometimes don't register, so I have to spam. You see that button? You Did you see how, how late it took that button to come? You, you see? Yeah, I'm clicking, and it's not even loading. So it's just that sort of gist. It's just that. You know, what happens. And I, I, hopefully they roll out a new update where you can make 10 times this amount. Like, like seriously. And then, you, look, I clicked it, and it didn't even click. So you see what I'm what I'm getting at. Like, it's, it's just so bad. Oh my god. I'm gonna make it so that these guys just pick up my stuff, because I'm tired of it. What else am I being weighed down on? They can, uh, they can always just start funneling down here, watch this. They're all gonna come down, and then they're all gonna go deposit it, put it away. I don't know where they all are, actually. Should be coming down. Oh my god, yeah, here they are. Now they're coming down. Slowly, but surely. I don't know why they are responding to this... ...face. Like, what is this? Why are they over there? They all come over there. It's so weird. But yeah, so uh, they're gonna eventually bring it all, put it all away. And um, yeah, we're just limited by the amount of wheat that you can pump out. I mean, if you have a bunch of Lulus like jacked out of their minds, fully condensed and like maxed out, pals, like Verdashes even, Lilines, it doesn't matter. You don't even have to slot in the gatherers or the planters specifically, like maxed out, four stars, Double I lean, four stars. You're looking at massive gains on the wheat. It's just that you're capped because these guys have to water them. And to get flour, you have to water the mill. You see what, I, what I'm getting at? So you have to, you know, weigh your pros and cons on this. So that's why I just leave it so that I buy everything from the merchant now. The only thing that I pump out out of the, out of the boots, butts of bees are the honey. Yeah, well, I don't know where these guys are. They should be picking this stuff up, because I'm not. That's a good... I don't know, two mil I, I blew off? Uh, but yeah, 
Slow and steady wins the race. And if it de also if you have a lot of like pens, breeding farm pens, like this one I think is my Yomentide base. Yomentide and Nocklin base. Um you know, that's where the cake really comes in handy. Well, this is also my skill switch trade base. And so far, they have not filled up my chests over there yet. So, there's that. I'm just so- I'm just too lazy to freaking um, hatch these eggs, dude. I'm so tired. It's- it, the game's so much fun, but it's just that I've, I've just been playing on my alt account lately. Like, my new- my new level account, the one that you kind of see on, on some of my newer videos. Um, just because replaying the game is so much fun. Just, just just leveling through that whole thing, experiencing it all over again is so much fun. Probably what, probably the same thing that Tyson probably experienced in that Paul vs. Tyson fight, which was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. But um, the feeling of nostalgia is great. And look at my horns, dude. They glow. I am, a sup I am of the supremacy race. <laughs> That's so cringe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is uh, Jess. Please leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!